All right, so here's the trailer that I started building. Uh, my last video, I put a couple sections together and showed you a couple things that I uh, that I had. But now I've got a lot more parts, uh, including uh, these 14 gauge diamond plate tread plate fenders. Really nice fenders. Also got these axles in. This is uh, already a, a set that's complete. They're 3,500 pound axles. Uh, and they're both braking axles, so usually a lot of people use idlers on one and brakes on one. Uh, just got all four wheel brakes, so kind of uh, keeps the uh, the tread on your tires wearing evenly. Now let me show you what else I've got going. Uh, I'm setting up right now to uh, put the tongue section on, and I've got the coupler here, which is a 14,000 pound coupler. Uh, solid piece of steel and basically uh, it's got a it's got a 50 degree angle here uh, that's what the standard is and that's what every, that's what everybody uses so uh, what I've got <coughs> is I've got my section cut here and I think it was 7 feet 10 and some change uh, I'm gonna get my other section cut and then I'm gonna tack everything together um, and see if it uh, all looks good if it looks good then I start welding uh, basically, I just tack it all up just, just in case uh, something doesn't look right or if it, if it doesn't uh, measure up right, then uh, I can undo the tacks and start all fresh. That's the cool thing about working with steel. It's not like wood, you know, you kind of wood if you uh, cut it or you can't add on to it. And Anyways, that's just what I like about working with steel. You can add on to it. And let me show you my dovetail section here. The section here, I don't know if you could see that, it's kind of shaded out, but you can kind of see the angle that I was showing you on my first video. Uh, from this point here, where my finger is, my sh uh, shadowy finger, and the other point here, next, right next to my saw, uh, I'm going to use a uh, diamond plate there, and the rest of it so far is going to be wood, unless I get a good deal on um, uh, some diamond plate, some good diamond plate. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you know how that goes and here's my Miller welder. I'm going to be using this to weld everything up and it does uh, pretty damn pretty damn good. I don't know if you can see any of those welds there but it welds quick and fast and gets the job done. And yeah, there's my gas. Let me show you my drawing. This is this is the drawing for everything. There we go. Okay, so that's my tongue section that I uh, helped that my neighbor had the software and he just happens to be an engineer so that kind of helps out. Um, so this is my section here that I'm cutting. Uh, I've got set up as we speak right now to cut the second section. And there's the other one already there. But anyways, uh, this is the 50 degree angle that I'm going to be following. Uh, for my A-frame coupler, it's called the A-frame coupler, and that's what goes on the end of the tongue here. Uh, my tongue total length is going to be from the point of where the trailer frame stops to the tip is going to be three feet, eight, and nine sixteenths. Um, if you're going to be building something like this, uh, you're going to want to you're going to want to first uh, figure out how long you want the tongue, and then incorporate a 50 degree angle. And then some of these softwares will just put this all together for you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up with the with these two pieces. I'm going to take a couple cuts off of each one of them, and they're going to end up meeting perfectly. And what I'm going to end up with is a is, I think this is going to be a four inch measurement right at the tip, and it, and it comes out just to fit just right in that A-frame coupler. But there's my drawing. Uh, there's my fender backs. Hopefully I can get those tacked in today and have my axles up by the end of the day here and my tongue complete that would be nice like I said this is my first uh, trailer so I'm just taking it one step at a time and and uh, going with going with it looking good so far everything's nice and flush nice and square um, and again uh, chop saw is awesome cuts perfect uh, squareness every time uh, the Miller you can't say anything about the Miller that's perfect welder for what I'm doing right now and these axles are 3,500 pound axles and they already came complete so I don't have to do any assembly on them. They're perfect, uh, perfectly 
just right for this job because I don't want to sit here and assemble axles. You know, after I've been welding, I just want to start. I just want to keep welding. I don't want to have to work with grease and and bullshit like that. So this helps out, and it's already nice and set up. And they came that way. So I'll see you on the next video. I'll show you what I got done by the end of the day here. All right.